It is an ugly day out today. It is raining, kind of cold, a little chilly, windy. Kind of looks like it's about a storm. Matt the Menace is back again. He needs uh, help delivering a couch. He needs Big Bertha, AKA the box truck. So we're gonna go help him uh, deliver a couch real quick. If you missed the last video, that orange couch that we picked up literally sold in like less than 24 hours. I have to deliver it, but I've gotten over 50 messages on that couch. 50, I'm not exaggerating. I can show you guys the screenshots. And it's got over a thousand views and like close to a hundred saves or something like that. Something crazy. I definitely should have posted that couch for more. I had no idea the interest would be that crazy. We'll deliver that one here later today at about three o'clock. Let's go to the storage unit, get the box truck, and help mess with it. Alright, Matt's got one going out today. What's up, UC World? Shaving it up, giving it a fresh fade. That taper. Got this one for $20, $25. And it's selling for what? Uh, five twenty-five. Five twenty-five? Yeah. Jeez. Making five hundred dollars profit off of this couch. <laughs> Matt just donated uh, fifty dollars to the. Big Bertha Foundation, so we're gonna see how much uh, it goes to. What's it at? Under half? Under half. Damn. Jesus! Hello? Matt just took uh, some balls to the face. Oh, balls? <laughs> Matt busted his lip. Nah, uh, Parker busted my lip. <laughs> now we're moving a couch in and he was guiding it through the door and I guess he didn't see that the the foot was gonna hit the door and it completely stopped and I was still moving forward so that momentum just went straight to my lip. Matt said he's out of commission for a week now. Anyways, Matt sold it for $525, right? Uh, my, yeah, $525, but she gave us a $20 tip. $20 tip. So $545. $5.45 and you got it for $25. $25. Boys a menace to society. You got another couch to deliver. I got another couch to deliver. So hell yeah. We got some more more business to attend to. We just got back to the storage unit. We need to load this orange one, put it in the back of the truck, and then we're gonna put Matt's couch in front of it so that way we, we can just deliver. Boom boom. You don't have to come back to the storage unit. Hopefully they both fit. They're both pretty large couches. Hopefully it'll fit in the truck. I mean, it, it would save us a trip to come back. So we're gonna try and cram it in there. My girlfriend has to stitch uh, one of Matt's couches because it's got a rip in it. The one he bought, he bought for 200. He's selling it for 750. And then I bought this one for 120 and it's selling for 450. <laughs> Snugs the couch is gonna get. That's pretty compact. Yeah, it is. Pillows and the ottoman. Ottoman can go on top. Definitely some stains on this. Literally a one steam clean away from being a perfect couch. Yeah. Nice and snug, with still plenty of room for another couch. You got your stapler. What are we gonna try? Over the top? You know what we can do? No. We can, turn <laughs> we can try to turn this one. <laughs> oh. 
We got it closed. That boy's jammed. Hell yeah. Bertha's full. Cue the Home Depot music. It's gonna hold. This apartment complex has its own built-in police station. I've never, have you seen that before? Never. I've never seen that before. A bunch of cops pulled up right there. There's a little office. It's crazy. There's literally what? Bro, there's barbed wire around the apartment complex. Barbed wire around the complex. Police station inside. It's literally like a little jail. Fuddrucker, we gotta get some food. Matt just made like gotta fuel up. Made like a a normal person's salary in, in about a day, a couple hours right now. Yeah. So we're gonna fuel up and then we gotta go deliver. It's eight. We're chilling a little bit. Uh, we're gonna we're just trying to kill in a little bit of time before this next delivery. We're waiting on the guy to get home. We are 13 minutes away from him. We stopped and got food close to his place. Couches loaded up and everything. Matt sold both of his couches. He made 540. 545 mm -hmm. on she the first me. one. She tipped me 20 bucks. And then 750 on that second one that we just delivered. So Matt's pulled in 1290, he said. Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. 1290. So Matt made twelve hundred and ninety dollars today in sales. And I spent <coughs> I spent uh let me think. Two hundred on the first couch, twenty-five dollars on the, the second one. So a total of two twenty-five. So I netted, I brought in a thousand profit. A thousand profit. It's starting to rain. I'm gonna close this. We're about ready to go uh, deliver this orange couch. Yes, sir. I'm kind of bummed I only listed it for 450. I got close to like 60 messages on this couch. Absolutely insane. Let's go get the last delivery of the day. Couch sold. We got actually 500 for it. He gave us a $50 tip which is awesome. Together we made, what, 17? Yeah, 1700 together. Pretty good for a day's work. That's a wrap for today on this uh, rainy day. Both three today between the both of us made $1,700 between the both of us. So I'd say it was a pretty successful day. I'd go, it used to take me a month to make that. I remember when I was working at the water park, I was getting paid minimum wage, $7.25 an hour. I worked 160 hours in a pay period, which since it's a seasonal job, you don't get overtime. So I worked 160 hours over two weeks and the check came out to be $900 and some change after tax. 160 hours every two weeks and still being able to make more in a day is crazy to me but yeah that's it for today i love you guys so much thank you guys for watching i hope uh maybe these videos inspire some of you to start a side hustle or maybe even couch flipping thank you guys so much see you in the next one